Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be creating an eye look using the Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics. This is me feeling very awkward and waving. Okay, so I'm going to be using one of my favourite uh, face bases. This is the Skin Paradise by L'Oreal. I absolutely love this product. I use it every single day. It's very similar to kind of like a BB cream tinted moisturiser, but um, it just makes your skin look super glowy, radiant, healthy, and it provides a minimal amount of coverage. I'd say it's a light, but you could definitely build it up to a medium coverage. I have the shade Light 02, and as you can see here, it does have a little bit well it's very warm i was gonna say it looks a bit orange but which it does admittedly but once you kind of blend it out and add the other products on top it doesn't look that orange and if anything it just kind of gives your skin like a healthy glow but it is definitely warm which i kind of like because i just think it makes you look healthy i'm just kind of showing you the side by side comparison it does make a big difference. It takes away all of that redness and it just it just makes you believe that I have really beautiful glowing skin. This is me, I'm just struggling, struggling to put the lid back on. What oh no, am I taking the I'm taking the lid off. Oh, okay, fair enough. Right, I'm just popping more on. The thing with this product I found is it, I would definitely recommend applying it with a sponge because if you apply it with your fingers, it can be a little bit tricky. Uh, I find that it, a little goes a long way with your fingers and I would always end up putting way too much on and then wasting it. But anyway, this is me finished feeling fantastic. Oh yeah. So next I'm going to be setting my face, I think. Oh no, I'm just going to be setting my under eyes. I'm using a very fancy product by Hourglass. It's a uh, ambient lighting setting powder which i know it sounds like such a pretentious name but uh, this is in the shade ethereal light i find that for some reason it doesn't really work all over my face but it's absolutely brilliant for uh highlighting the under eyes next i'm going in with the charlotte tilbury magic powder this one is the perfect product to set one's face with. I've got way too much on my brush, but anyway, I just kind of pop this all over my face uh, just to take away some of the extra dewiness that the Skin Paradise gives. I don't want to take all the dewiness away, but I just want to not look like I've just come back from the gym. Uh, this product is actually really, really good. I mean, yes, Charlotte Tilbury, it's very pretentious, very expensive, but I feel like, you know, setting powder is going to last you for ages, so why not? Okay, next we're jumping into the Charisma Contour Palette. This is by Clydes Makeup, and I am pointing to the shade we're going to be using. I'm going to pop this onto contour, and you will see in just a minute, I go way overboard, way overboard. I apply way too much, and um, I just kind of noticed as well that this does have quite a red undertone to it but i think that's just because i applied way too much or maybe i didn't really wash my brush beforehand and there was remnants of another product on who knows anything's possible with me but anyway i'm, I'm just enjoying the contour too much and i think i'm realizing now oh shit i applied way too much but there's no turning back so i might as well just apply more that's what i'm thinking like can you see the fear just in my eyes just like oh shit i'm looking in my mirror on the wall there just thinking oh shit oh no anyway we're just applying more because like when you put too much on what's left but to just like put more on do we have the forehead the jaw i feel like the jaw contouring really helps to make you look like you have a thinner face uh, so i like it for that we're gonna go in with fix plus by mac i love this just to make my face feel not as dry we're gonna follow that up with nazi's orgasm blush which i know this is like a cult favorite but for good reason it is absolutely beautiful i love that kind of 
pink tone but then I love the surprising pop of gold it's kind of like a blush and a highlight in one. Oh, I forgot to tell you oh I'm spooling my brows but who cares about that not very interesting but next we're going in with ABH brow promenade in taupe oh sorry it's not the shade taupe oh shit no this is in the shade blonde and that's why I was confused because it looked dark and I thought oh it's taupe and I realized no it's not it's blonde and then anyway yeah I'm just doing my brows look at that look at me go I wish I could really do them this fast in real life I'm not very good at my brows they always look terrible and in a minute you'll see one brow has kind of a nice shape to it, the other brow doesn't. Oh, following this up with, um, oh, I missed the name of the product because I've, I've, I've been insisting on just trying to do this voiceover without really knowing what's going next. Anyway, this is a really good brow product by Maybelline, super affordable, really good dupe for Gimme Brow by... Benefit costs about five pounds if you get it on Amazon. It's got quite a big spoolie. I just really like it. Anyway, we're going to jump into another iconic product. This is uh, the Primer Potion by Urban Decay. I feel like Urban Decay just, they're not so good as they used to be. But this is definitely a product from them that I do enjoy. It's a really, really good eye primer. I'm just popping it on. Okay, right. So guys, this is it. The Zodiac palette. So this is the second Zodiac, the Love Signs palette. I, oh my gosh, I adore this palette. I'm going to go in with this shade here. It's like an off-white, but it has like this hint of pink to it. It's amazing for highlighting under your brow or just kind of setting your lid. It's a beautiful shade. As you can see, it's got really good pigmentation considering it's white. Okay, next we're gonna go in with my second favorite shade. This is like a taupey kind of shade. I'm gonna just pop this in the socket of the eye. So I really, really love uh, the formula within the Zodiac palettes. The mattes are super, easy to blend very pigmented and i particularly love this shade when you kind of blend it out it just creates this beautiful kind of dusky rose slash taupey kind of very grungy kind of 80 shade i really really love it uh, the shimmers in this palette are they're baked they're like baked shimmers i like them too but i would definitely recommend like you've got to use a wet brush to apply them, which I don't know why I'm talking about this now because I've not gotten to this shimmer. But anyway, I'm doing a little bit of under the eye action. I find that as well, if you if you really kind of blend out your under eye shadow uh, and then put mascara on, it kind of stops mascara from, you know, getting patchy. Oh, here I am showing the beautiful baked shadow that I'm going to be using. This one is Echo Gina Icy Pink. It is divine it's super angelic and i just think it looks absolutely bomb diggity down these baked shadows are definitely applied best with your fingers and um, also like i don't know quite why i'm doing this like I, I, right because i've already applied blush but i think i'm applying this as like more of like a highlighter moment this is my favorite face product in the world I know that's a big claim, but honestly, it's so true. So this is just a Wisp Mineralized Blush by MAC. As you can see, it's icy pink. It's super complimentary to the metallic eyeshadow that I put on my lid. So I figure that's why I've decided to use it. It's discontinued, which, yeah, thanks for that, MAC. I applied pink eyeliner, and now I'm applying a lip liner, which does not in any way suit the look that I'm going for but I'm just going for it anyway I'm saying yes let's do it I even knew it didn't go with the look and I knew it was not going to complement this beautiful liquid lipstick so this is a child star and it's one of two faced melted matte liquid lipsticks this is my absolute favorite lipstick liquid oh my gosh that's a mouthful liquid lipstick anyway it is my favourite lip shade of all time. Do I like the formula? No. Is it super drying? Yes. But the shade, it kind of makes up for it because it just looks so, so good. This is me doing full freckles. I did recently put a full dedicated video up, which nobody really cared about. No one's interested in, but I don't know. I just love full freckles. I love real freckles. I wish I had real freckles, 
but I don't. So yeah, I create faux freckles using liquid lipstick and this kind of, I just use my finger, I just stamp them on. You don't need to be spending a lot of money on like freckle pens, just use liquid lipstick. And now I'm curling my eyelashes. I didn't believe in eyelash curlers until recently, but I do now. I think they do actually make a bit of a difference, but it's boring do curling your eyelashes. It's so boring, like what are you meant to do whilst you're curling them? Anyway, today I'm going to be using the Falsies Mascara. I'm sure that's not the name. It's not Lifting, Lift Lash, Lifty Lash. I don't know. This is my second favourite mascara in the world. It gives great length, great volume, and it does kind of lift your lashes in a way. Or maybe that's the eyelash curlers. Who really knows? But let's just pretend it's the mascara. Uh, this is great mascara. It's called Lash Lift and it's by Maybelline. Okay, so because I'm just a bit extra, a bit sassy, I go in with a different mascara for the lower lashes. This is the L'Oreal, the telescopic. This is the world's best mascara for your lower lashes because it dries down really, really fast. It doesn't smudge, doesn't flake. It's the only mascara that does not smudge or flake that I've ever tried and the kind of narrow thin long one makes it really easy to apply oh shit she's doing it the unthinkable why does she put herself through this she is creating a wing and if you watch my channel before probably even just once you will know I suck at using eyeliner and I suck even more at creating wings uh, so this is me just like internally having a panic attack thinking why am I doing this risking the entire look but I must have just been feeling like super bold that day because here I am doing it living my best life so I don't know what I did I, I thought no I'm not going to create a regular wing I'm going to do this weird kind of 50% like coloured in wing the rest I'm leaving don't know what's going on with that honestly guys but Okay, so this is me just showing you the final look. I really hope that you enjoyed the video, guys. I really enjoyed making it. I am awkwardly waving you off now. And just finishing the video the way I started it. But anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.